Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. Figured I would do a little something. See how uh, long I can do it for. Just a few moments before I'm called. This one is about um, responsibility, really. Responsibility and accountability that comes with the territory of authority, of power. My name is Alex. I'm forever your intern at Incorporating Associates. This is the Corporate Cowboys podcast. And in case you didn't know, it's not the crown that's that um that's a bother. It's folks who have light heads. The saying goes, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And um I enjoy making light of anything that I can. Even if that means thinking inversely, that means being the devil's advocate. Because, shit, nowadays what's right is wrong, and what's yes is no, and what's good is proclaimed as evil, and (laughs) it's just fucking retardation. But... I'm no stranger to being retarded, so. It's heavy as the crown. The crown is fucking heavy. Heavy is the crown for the (laughs) light-headed. And I want you to realize that a lot of motherfuckers want power. They want the authority that comes with it. The clout. The respect bordering on fear and love hate even but the deference that comes with it it's absolute power and yeah it's true absolute power can corrupt absolutely there's very few individuals that I've I've met I could probably count them on one hand I still have plenty of living to do or just a little bit of dying but I'm sure I, I'll meet a few more before I'm gone God willing and those Who are willing, who are able, who are able to wield absolute power without having a, having it corrupt them absolutely. They're, um, they're a godsend. They're ones that push projects forward, that carry messages. Middlemen, facilitators, self-sacrificing. They're able to wear the crown and carry it until they don't need it. (laughs) You see, you don't need the crown to be royal, to move like royalty. It just requires skill. Requires finesse, requires timing, requires experience. That's how you can come upon an old person with long hair, a long beard, but experienced, worldly. What is it? World traveled. And they have knowledge. They have prowess about them they're able to speak in a manner that has you understand and think 
without them thinking for you. It's a type of energy that reverberates through air and literally in one ear through your fucking brain and out the other. You see, but some motherfuckers want the crown. They think they're nothing without it. They don't have any substance to put up under that ditch. They're lightheaded. So when they put the crown on, well, it literally goes straight to their head. They don't know how to wear it. It wears them. It wears them down. Heavy is the crown for the light-headed. I know I said I'd make this episode short. Short and sweet. But, you know, I got to plug the social media. On Instagram, you can follow us. That's Incorporating Associates. You'll find us. There's one or two active pages. Um, One of them more active than the other. Subscribe to Patreon. Keep this thing non-profit. I think there's two or three tiers. Last we checked, that's Corporate Cowboys Podcast. And you can listen to the podcast pretty much anywhere it airs. Some very little material is behind a paywall. The only other material you have to pay for are actual consultations. Actual career therapy if you will, and most of that is all confidential. You want to shoot us a donation directly, you can use paypal.me slash corporate cowboys. Venmo, that's at Alex underscore Coco, and cash app dollar sign corporate cowboys. Heavy is the crown for the lightheaded. Because when you put it on, yes, it necessarily weighs you down. But there are some folks who know how to work with that augmented center of gravity. It changes the way you move. And so, it changes the way you think. You've necessarily become top-heavy. So you can't move like you used to, lest you get whiplash and fuck your light-headed self up. (laughs) And I've seen that happen many times. One too many times. It's... It's divine to see. It's glorious to see because you can see it happening. You can see it in advance and you can see it manifest. It's like a it's like a latent characteristic of many humans. Oh no, but you can't tell them that they're bound to fuck up if they move, if they continue to move the way they are moving. Nah, you see, because they have the crown, they can't fucking hear you. It cuts off their circulation to the rest of their fucking skull, apparently. And what was once constructive criticism now becomes 
verbal attack or some shit now becomes threats now becomes microaggressions <laughs> fuckery retarded fuckery all of it it's not even midweek I did want to get amped up for this episode but I feel like I should keep it light I should keep it calm I should keep it cool I know every now and then an episode will pick up in pace, pick up in volume, and I'll start getting into the motion. Using the inertia to carry me and build on it and, and magnify it. That's fun. That's always fun. I rarely get tired. You gotta understand, a lot of folks don't even work for attaining this crown. I myself actually work for knocking crowns off. (laughs) Because you can tell some individuals labor and struggle and fuck up under the weight of the crown. They can't wield, they don't wield the crown correctly. And I'm not saying I could, not at all. I'm saying it's possible to take turns. And yet still, some folks choose to wear the crown for so long. Cuts off circulation or... They become enamored with the attention that the crown draws. And the shit just goes to their head. I mean, we're all just passing through, right? And the crown, well, you can't take it when you leave. So it might be the last thing you wear. So you got to be careful with the crown. Kings and queens. Anybody could get it. Nobody's exempt. Nobody's immune. Even those who choose to give it up voluntarily They do so because they recognize they aren't immune. You can't be king forever. You can't reign as a queen forever. I suppose that's why the saying also goes that real leaders create more leaders that's difficult to do in the context of absolute monarchism a king by definition is one and only as is a queen they're sovereigns and to create another sovereign to allow another sovereign as a sovereign would with absolute power, you're essentially allowing another one to exist. It implies your acquiescence to competition. Competition for the throne, competition for space, competition for popularity, and so a competition for power. A competition for authority. That's why when when folks think that a crown 
fucking matters at all. Here. In this realm. In corporate. That's just the title, man. That's just the title. That's a piece of swag. On top of your head. Consider it a price. <laughs> when you <laughs> when you put a price on your own head, it's when you know you've made it. It's when you know you've made it. And when you can get out from up under it, it's when you know that you've played your turn. You've measured it. You've weighed it. And you've recognized whether or not you should pay it. Pay it forward.